Now... There are just 11 days until Christmas. That means there are only 11 days until we say goodbye to Doc Martin. Oh. Martin Clunes oh. joins me now. Oh, it's so sad. But it's the right time, do you think? Is Absolutely. it the right time? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I think it is. Definitely. Definitely. Because oh. I'd feel sad if it wasn't, if it was taken away from us. But, well, that's true. Know. It's been your decision, but a little bit bittersweet. A wee bit. Maybe, although not in a way, because yeah. I sort of feel now we've done it. I, I haven't actually... I saw a rough cut of the Christmas one, but I haven't seen it with its music and great oh, and, and all the special effects. So Very I'm looking good. forward to seeing it. You've seen it. You'll like it. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be happy, yeah. but it's a perfect thing for Christmas night, isn't I it? I hope so. Oh, I hope so. It's really definitely. Christmassy. It's got a turkey in it. It's got a turkey in it. It's yeah. got someone dressed up as, as, as Santa. Mrs Tishel, yeah. It's got everything going, <laughs> going on there. Did you have a good party <laughs> when it was all done and dusted? Did you have the best rap party? Well, it was kind of... Because what happens is everybody gets shipped down there for their bits and then they right. go away and again. Maybe. So it sort of fizzled out a little bit. Right. So we didn't have a massive... Cause you wouldn't get them back. <laughs> no, indeed. <laughs> They'd want to stay. But yeah, everybody yeah. talks about it with such affection. You know, any actors who've been on it, anybody who's worked on it, it's just you've m you made it a good experience it's for everyone. It's a good gig, look. You I know, mean, come yeah, on, yeah. look at it. Yeah. Gorgeous. If you're going to get a returning series, get one in a holiday like Absolutely. This is my advice to anyone. Oh, <laughs> but we will miss them. But there's always reruns. <laughs> there's always <laughs> I'll do you a good price on a box set if you like. Right? <laughs> it's always the box set. <laughs> there's always that. So what can we expect? He'll be grumpy. He, he's not keen on Christmas due to his unfortunate mm. childhood. Indeed. And I have to stop smiling about his unfortunate childhood, but it always makes me laugh because I enjoy punishing him. Yes. Um, uh, but, yeah, he has, that, that crops up in it, his, his sad, sad childhood Christmases. Uh, so it's kind of he's compartmentalised it right. in his mind. But um, then there's a turkey uh, and a few things go wrong and the delightful Ron Cook... Oh. Um, up Did on you, the roof. I think that grotto gets closed down by... Fred, so yes. <gasps> Healthy Scrooge. juice. Scrooge! Yeah, yeah. Scrooge, Scrooge, <laughs> but hopefully, and I'm not giving anything away, but hopefully Scrooge will become the spirit of Christmas. We can but hope. We can Who but knows? hope. But look, you said you're just back from the South Pacific. Yeah. How fantastic was that? Um, mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing. It's Incredible. the sort of second half of... I did three before the islands of the Pacific. That's and right. And we got cut off by COVID. Did indeed and, see um, it Yeah, it, we, we sort of went deeper. Um, it felt like we went deeper. We were living in a village in Papua New Guinea in the Trobriand Islands. Like, like for, for a week, they built us huts um, to live in. And um, though I was there, they got no uh, internet. Right. The occasional bit of 3G wafts through. Right. And in the middle of the night, I got a text from my daughter to tell me that the Queen had died. Oh, jeez. And... Um, what a strange way to find out. It was really and weird. And you saw me from home. Uh, and I told the chief of our village, and slowly over the next couple of days, chiefs and elders from other tribes and oh. villages came to offer their condolences and their, Gosh. their chiefly respect. And, you kind of think that's that's influence. That's isn't it? lovely. So they obviously were very saddened by that. They were because, deeply moved yeah, by it, but they wanted to it. sort of, uh, uh, in their chief role, to sort of pass oh, that on. Geez. So there's another royal story to counter the other one. Uh, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was, it's nice to get some, some, you know, because that is lovely and about respect and Absolute about affection. Total respect for somebody who did an incredible job, especially globally. Yeah. Absolutely. So the Christmas plans, what are they? What are you going to do? Is it normal, traditional, lovely? Yep, that's feet that's, up? That's, well, mm. no, no feet up. No, no we got, feet up. Uh, I think at the highest we've got 18 in the house. We always have, that's why we have a big house, is because of Christmas and <laughs> all the family come to and us. And everybody comes to you. Everybody comes to Excellent. us. Excellent. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's lovely, though. That's what it's supposed to be about. Yes, exactly. It's supposed yes, to be about exactly. that. And you've got so many animals to look after. Yes. And they, do you buy them all presents? Uh, no, because we kind of curse them because we give people a lot of time off over Christmas, so we're <laughs> mucking them out. So, no, if he wants a present, well, a present. he can clean his own crap up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is a present. That's a good present because obviously we get our dogs lots of lots and lots of different uh, presents. Do the dogs? The dogs get advent calendars. The advent calendars are brilliant. No, that that's a great idea. And There's the a wee treat in, in every one, and it's yes. a big deal. And they sit there looking at you. Give me, give me my treat. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Talking about animals, you're going to do an amazing thing next year, which is all about guide dogs. Yes, it is. Yeah. Now I didn't know, Martin, that guide dogs have to retire. Yes. I didn't know that, but and is there an age? Yes. So, it, but what if they still want to? Work. Uh, it's not up to them. It's it's no, the dog's it's... welfare is is is, oh, is what the charity so is right. concerned okay. with. So when the dog turns eleven, they take the harness away. 
Do they? You can, and you can choose to keep that dog until you get another dog. Right. But uh, Jane and Mystery, whose dog, Laura, uh, I'm hoping is going to come and retire with us. <gasps> Fantastic. But she needs to get a new dog first. First, before. And it, it's going to break her heart because oh, he's, God, um, Laura's been her uh, independence and freedom for, for well, 11 years. Well, see, that's years. the thing. It must be so difficult. I honestly didn't know that happened. So basically, when they retire, they're rehomed so unless a, you want to keep them. There's a whole programme there about, I mean, uh, uh, of the rehoming, you know, a lot of elderly couples like a retiring dog because they don't want the commitment of a puppy. Um, oh, but I, I fought them all off. <laughs> <laughs> to have this one. Yeah. But the but, more I spoke to Jana about the charity and the way that they work, the more I reason, even though they're so present in our lives, guide dogs, yeah, yeah. and we know what they do, but the machinations of it and the thought behind it and the breeding program, yeah, yeah. then they go to live with families for a year to learn to be good citizens. Uh, and then they start the assessment. And it's not just, uh, there's a trained dog, there's a blind person, off you go. Right. It's got to match if they've got other difficulties, their walking speed, right. blah, blah. It's, oh. it's so interesting. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, such I can't a great wait to do, to do it. Because you're right, we've got, we, we sort of know what an amazing job they do. And, yeah. and you know, there's hearing dogs as well, yes. and, and dogs that, that help people. It's just wonderful. Yes. But to actually really find out all about it is, is brilliant. Yeah. But look, we're going to see, will you be watching yourself on Christmas Day, do you watch yourself? I don't know. Probably if they not. said so. Yeah, we've got the whole family there. I think it'd be but a bit weird. Come it. on, sit down and watch. But what <laughs> sit if down they watch me? But what if they didn't want to watch it? They wouldn't be able to say it, would they? Oh, that's true. That mm. could be slightly awkward. I don't know. I guess. We'll see. But you're going to. Oh gosh, now look. Did you get a souvenir from the set? What did you get? Well, I did. I hankered after the. The uh, spaniel outside the chemist. The spaniel. Oh, is that in your house? That is, And yeah. you put a hat on him? I put a cowboy hat on him, yeah. I love him. It's, um, I know, I don't know how Philippa got him, but because he's from a hire company, we had hired him and they don't tend Quietly. to... Quietly. Well, somebody did say, just nick him, and I thought, oh, that's not great. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then Philippa made it all happen. I love that. That is a permanent reminder of a lovely, lovely series. I can't yes. wait to see it. I'm going to watch it again. It's on <laughs> Christmas Day. Um, Christmas night, actually, on ITV1. Thank you, Martin.